Well, I made it to LA. Uh, it was a fairly long journey, or felt like a long journey, because it started at it was a 1 a.m. bus I got from Belfast and down to Dublin, uh, which got in about 3, and then it was a 6 o'clock flight to London, and a 10 o'clock flight over here. But thankfully, I was so tired by the time I got on the, the long flight across the Atlantic that I just fell asleep, so I'm, I'm wide awake now. I feel great. Um, and uh, yeah, I picked up a car, drove up to Sherman Oaks then from LAX in, without a GPS, which it, it, it's, it's not that, uh, actually a very difficult drive. Um, you just get in a 405 and uh, drive north and then get off at, well, Burbank Boulevard I got off at. Um, but I'm going to head out to Thousand Oaks now and buy GPS. Uh, what happened was that they, they were looking for $12 a day to hire the GPS and I'm out here so much now that uh, the car hire this time I think is 12 days, so that was like $140. And uh, you can buy GPS's here for about $99, cheap entry level ones. So I'll probably spend a wee bit more and get a decent one, but it'll pay for itself after a couple of trips. So I'm heading out to Sherman Oaks now. Or no, Thousand Oaks, I uh, haven't been out there before, but the local Best Buy doesn't have the GPS I want. So uh, that's going to be uh, have, have to be a very quick trip. It's 5 o'clock now, and I'm trying to get back into downtown LA, which is quite a journey. Um, for 7 or half 7, there's a little short film festival on down there. Um, America Young posted a message about it a few days ago, because this is just what I do when I come to LA. I don't make any plans, and then I just go on Twitter and Facebook, and somebody's always posting about something that's on or something to do and they end up going that way. So she posts this message, uh, short film festival, a uh, film festival for short films, uh, and it's just this evening. And, uh, you know, people like her and Cameron Bender, and out of uh, a couple of shorts premiering there, and, uh, well, you know, I'm, I just, I love web video, so uh, he, you, well, you see both of those in the Geek Therapy uh, shorts, and some of the other com uh, Comediva, I think it's called, Comediva, uh, web series, uh, web YouTube channel. So take a look at that. So very very quick. Out of Thousand Oaks. Try to get down to downtown LA in two hours. See how that goes. Well, Thousand Oaks is an awful lot further out of LA than I thought it was. Um, and I took a wrong turn. I ended up going the wrong way in the the 101. So uh, with rush hour traffic and everything, it took me nearly 20 minutes to get turned around. So six o'clock now. Um, I really don't know if I'm going to make it in for seven, but the films don't start till eight. So I'm going to run in here to Best Buy and uh, hopefully find this thing pretty quickly and buy it. Right, well, I got the GPS Garmin. Um, it's quite an expensive one, actually. It's probably a bit more than I wanted to spend, but uh, I'm saving a bunch of money. I'm actually staying with a friend of mine up in Aquadulce um, instead of paying for a hotel room here. So the money I save in that hotel room is actually paying for most of this. Um, not quite all of it, but certainly most of it. And. Um, yeah, the, the guy to Tills reckons I'll get out downtown LA by 35-40 minutes. I'm not convinced. Uh, I'll have to wait and see if that happens because the traffic coming the other way, when I was coming in, the traffic going the other way looked like it was backed up quite a bit. But I really wanted to get a good look around. So I was while I was here. Uh, it just took so long to get anywhere in LA. And I don't know if I'm going to get a chance to get back out here this time, but I'm definitely going to come out here if I'm back in the summer because I do want to get around Thousand Oaks to see what it's like here. Well, I made it anyway. It, uh, it was slow going the whole way. It took over an hour and a half. I don't know what that guy was talking about 35 to 40 minutes. 35 to 40 minutes if there's absolutely no other cars in the road. But it took about an hour and a half and I got there eventually. I uh, missed the whole pre show, free food and mingling and all that sort of stuff. But I didn't know anyone there, so that didn't really matter. Um, I got to see all the shorts. They were very, very good. Uh, some really good shows in there. And then after, uh, they, they invited everyone out to get pizza, I just picked up a takeaway because there's no point sitting on my own in there. I'm just going to grab the seat in the car and head back to the hotel. And this is downtown LA. Uh, you know, there's skyscrapers, you can't actually see very many of them from here. Uh, there's some there. But uh, typically, California, you don't build too high because of the earthquakes and everything. But downtown has some quite high skyscrapers here. And last time I was down here was years and years ago. It was a common location. We were playing on the top of some apartment block and they were filming it. And I came down and it was absolutely freezing on top of that thing. And 
we ended up, I had to leave before they even started because there was a helicopter hovering around and they couldn't record the thing. So I stood there for about an hour and I just left. It was really bad and a really, really dodgy area. Uh, I don't know if all downtowns like that, but it's, it's looking a lot better where I am now anyway. It looks a lot safer.